The Clemson Tigers arrived at Camping World Stadium for the 2016 Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship game in search of back-to-back -back titles for the first time since 1987 and 1988. Their opponent, Virginia Tech, was in search of their fifth conference title since joining the league in 2004. The game was a rematch of the 2011 championship game, a battle won by Clemson 38-10. Our game is better than our game. That's all it takes. Our game is better than that game. Play our game. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, one, three. One, two, three. One, two. We only got a couple games left. Hey, exhaust this moment, man. Exhaust it. Embrace it. Make sure you don't regret nothing. We don't leave nothing off this field. This year's title game started off quickly in favor of the Tigers as they drove the length of the field in nine plays with the drive culminating in a Deshaun Watson three-yard touchdown run putting Clemson on top 7 to nothing, less than four minutes into the contest. On their next possession, Clemson quickly moved down the field again. This time, Deshaun Watson found a wide open Jordan Leggett for the 21-yard score and a two-touchdown lead. Virginia Tech would cut the score to 14-7 to on their next possession, but Clemson was not discouraged as they marched right down the field one more time. And once again, Watson connected with Leggett, this time for a 10-yard touchdown, giving Clemson three touchdowns on their first three possessions and amassing 233 yards of offense in just 28 plays. Virginia Tech's offense started to pick up as well when Gerard Evans capped off a five-play, 70-yard touchdown drive by juking his way in for an 11-yard score closing the gap to 21 to 14 as the teams headed to the halftime break. In the second half, Clemson picked up where they left off as Deshaun Watson muscled his way in for the two yard touchdown, propelling Clemson to what seemed to be a very comfortable 35 to 14 lead. The Hokies, however, had a different plan in mind as Trayvon McMillan took the handoff around left side and fought his way for the 27-yard touchdown run, closing the gap to 14 points with still more than a quarter of action left to play. Gerard Evans gave Hokie Nation even more to cheer about when he powered his way in from five yards out, cutting the once 21-point lead to a mere seven points with just over 11 minutes left to play. Clemson once again showed why they have one of the best offenses in the country as Watson connected with Hunter Renfro on the flat and Renfro scampered untouched into the end zone, putting the Tigers up 42 to 28 with seven and a half minutes remaining. Once again, the Hokies reached down deep to show their never quit attitude. And when Evans connected with Cam Phillips on the 26 yard fade pattern, Virginia Tech had closed the gap to 42 to 35 with five and a half minutes remaining on the clock. After a quick stop by the Hokies defense, Evans and the offense quickly hurried down the field for the game tying score. But on fourth and six and the game in the balance, Clemson cornerback Cordray Tankersley came up with the defensive play of the game as he intercepted Evans, ending the Hokies chances and propelling the Tigers to their 16th ACC football championship in school history. The victory secured Clemson a spot in the college football playoff for the second year in a row. At the end of the day, we talked about earning it, and you guys earned it. It came down to that last play that we picked. Just, I just can't tell you how proud I am of you. I, every one of you guys, this, you were built for this moment. I'm so proud of you that you, you you had this game won before you started the game because of what we've done in, from January to right now. 